All right. Good afternoon, my crafty friends. How are you today? I hope you're having a wonderful day. So today is, I think it's April 4th. Let me see. Oh, it's April 5th. There we go. Uh, so today is Wednesday, April 5th, hump day. And um, I'm just going to see, wait a couple minutes, see if anybody pops on. And I'm going to see if I can get this to show up on my iPad so that I can see if there are any comments. So bear with me a minute, please. And let's just see what's going on here. And looks good. So, all right, so I've got a couple of announcements. Uh, hi, Jean, thanks very much for joining me today. I really do appreciate when you guys pop on and say hello. Um, yeah, so, okay, so what have I got? Uh, okay, so the new catalog is coming and will be available May 2nd. So if you need a catalog, uh, just let me know and I can get one in the mail to you. Okay, so again, that will start May 2nd. Uh, also, the last chance slash retiring list has been posted and those products you can see at stampinup.ca okay if you're in canada stampinup.ca if you're in the states stampinup.com uh anyway so there is lots and lots and lots of retiring product because we're having a color refresh as well uh there are i don't know what 11 12, roughly 15 colors that are retiring uh so I don't believe any of the paper is discounted. Hey, Shirley, thanks for joining me today. Anyway, I don't think any of the paper is discounted. I did notice some of the blends were. I don't know if they all were. Um, and I didn't, I forgot to check the uh, ink pads. So I don't know if they're discounted. I kind of doubt it, but you never know. All right, so yes, and there's lots of dyes still available with up, up to 60% off. So really... Have a, go, have a look and see if there's anything there you want because there's a lot of really good value there, okay? Uh, okay, last thing I wanted to talk about was, um, so for the last couple of months, I've been sending out newsletters, uh, which is something that I've never done before. So it's just kind of a summary as to what's going on in my little stamping world and with Stampin' Up. So if you'd like to subscribe to that and you haven't already, uh, just drop me a line, let me know. Or you can go to my uh, link tree slash Judy's Paper Crafts, of which I have written down here. And you will see when I turn the camera down. Um, I think that's it for now. So let's get started. I will turn the camera down. And I was having some issues uh, with the um, horizontal versus vertical with the orientation that's what I was looking for with the orientation today so I'm not sure if this is going to work or not but so far it seems to be working but it looks like I have frozen here for some reason so I'm not getting anything it's just uh oh, I hope you got are you guys frozen am I frozen on you guys I shouldn't be, but I don't seem to be moving here. So let me know if you can still see and everything is still good. Okay, here, all right, but it won't show up on my iPad for some reason. So maybe I will just get out of my iPad and try that again. Sorry. Um. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. You can still see me. Everything's good. Okay, well, then I'm just going to continue. Um, it doesn't seem to be working on my iPad. So maybe I'll just get out of the whole thing here. And uh, yeah, I'm just like frozen on that for some strange reason. You know, some days things work. Some days they don't. Yep, not working on my iPad. I don't know why. All right, I should still be able to see the comments, uh, but I just can't see the video, so I won't know if I'm off camera or not. So, <laughs> and you know, that's always an issue with me. 
Uh, you yeah, like my Pacific Point sweater, do you? Yeah, I, I'm so upset that they're discontinuing Pacific Point. It's one of my go-to uh, masculine colors. Uh, so I'm really kind of disappointed that they've discontinued that. Plus, I have a whole stack of it. <laughs> but uh, anyways, okay, let's turn the camera down and we'll get started here. So just bear with me a minute. Or two. Or three. Oh, I need to turn this the other way. Oh, there it is. Gee, sometimes they change things, you know? I never know what they're doing anymore. Okay, how about that? Does that look pretty good? Okay, so I have to come. No. Hang on, hang on. Don't give up on me yet. Just need to tweak this a little bit. I need to come over here. And that will do just like that, hopefully. I don't know why this won't show up on my iPad. It's driving me crazy. All right. Anyways, okay. So today we're going to be playing with the Simply Fabulous. Okay. And it can be found on page 41 of the annual catalog. Okay. Okay. I'm sorry, guys, I have to play with this because I can't see if I'm on camera or where I am or what I'm doing. So let me just try this one more time. And, 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 geez, now it's like my friggin' iPad's hung. Okay. All right, let's go here. And we'll go here. Now I need to turn the volume down on that too. And no, it still won't work. Unbelievable. Okay, well, all that's tough to keep standing up then and looking. So, all right. Anyway, so this is what we're going to be playing with today. This, um, oh, what I was going to say too is that if you want to subscribe to my newsletter, uh, you can subscribe at linktree, that's tr dot e e slash Judy's Paper Crafts. That's the easiest thing. Also, if you need a catalog, um, you can fill out the form there as also. Some stamp pads, refills, and blends are discounted by 20%, no cardstock. Thank you very much, Jean. Okay, so the cardstock is not discounted, but uh, some of the blends and ink pads are, and the refills. Okay, so this is a Simply Fabulous uh, stamp set. It's just, it's just, I don't know, it's just kind of cute. It's just kind of an abstract thing. It's got little cute little flowers and some stems and uh, some sayings. Thank you. Uh, a note for you. Let's celebrate. You are fabulous. Just saying hello. So, uh, uh, Jean suggests turning my iPad off. All right, well, let me try that then. Uh, slide to power off. Yeah, you know what it's like when you're trying to do something and you can't do it? It's just, <laughs> I hate technology. It drives me nuts. All right, that should be off long enough. And let's see if I can turn it back on again. Of course, and then there's always, you know, then I never remember which friggin' button it is. But anyway, it seems to be working. So I just need it to, well, I can wait a minute. We're going to put that to one side. And I'm just waiting for my iPad to, you know, wake up and say hello. And we'll go back into Facebook. And we'll see what's here. And, oh, look, I can see. Thank you so much, Jean. I'm so glad you told me that. Now I can actually see what's going on, and then I can see if I'm off camera. See, I'm a little bit crooked, eh? Is that better? Let's see. Oh, that's worse. I did it the wrong way. If I go back this way. I know I'm having a tough time today. Oh, definitely the wrong way. How about like that? Probably would have been easier to turn the camera instead of the camera mount. But anyways, okay. So let's get started. So I have a couple of things here. So this is 
I will show you here. This is um, the split card textures dies. There's two dies in here, as you can see, okay? These are also being discontinued um, and they are not discounted at all, okay? So just so you know. So I've already um, cut that out. So it looks like this, okay? And these are from the T Boutique cards and envelopes. So I'm just going to briefly show you these. So these are the cute little envelopes you get. Okay, aren't they cute? Like, oh, so cute. And these are the cards. So they're already done. You just have to fold them in half. All right. So these are on the retiring list. These are, in fact, 60% off. And when I looked uh, this morning, they were still there. They are $5.50, okay? That is a steal, people. An absolute steal for this. And let me see, how many did you get? You get 20 cards and envelopes for $5.50. And these are all the end colors, actually. Um, the current end colors, the 2022 to 2024, which is a... Um, Tahitian Tide and Sweet Sorbet, uh, those ones, okay? So again, 550. So this one I'm using is the Orchid Oasis. So we're just gonna fold it in half, get the bone folder, and give that a nice crease, okay? Again, these cards are gonna be pretty simple, pretty fast. So I have a bunch of colors here and a bunch of stamps. So I'm gonna be using Orchid Oasis. And Tahitian Tide, Polished Pink, which is also being discontinued. <laughs> Love my Polished Pink. And my Granny Apple Green. Okay. So I'm going to take this. And first thing I'm going to do is this is the uh, Just Saying Hello. And I'm going to ink that up in the Orchid Oasis. I have three cards here to make for you guys today, but I don't know if I'm going to have time. So we'll just give it a shot and see how it progresses. So I'm just gonna stamp that there. Okay, and that's done. And I'm gonna take, there are two flowers on here. There's my other one. So one is kind of like round and this one's almost like a rectangle in color or in, in uh, shape, okay. Okay, hang on, I got I have ink on me, as per usual. All right, so we're just going to ink up this flower. I want to make sure I have lots of ink on it, so I'm just going to stamp off a couple times. There we go. And we're just going to put him up here. And I think that's, oh, I need, oh, I'm going to run out of this. Need to wipe this off because I'm going to reuse it. And my Simply Chamois is all dry, so of course I can't use that. So I'm not very well prepared today, but okay, I think I'm done with this color. And then we're going to use the Tahitian Tide. Actually, I think I'm going to use the Polished Pink first. And we're going to use the rectangly one here. I'm just going to Sometimes when you first ink things up, they don't get fully covered, and I just like to stamp off on the paper to make sure that they are, in fact, pretty covered. And then I'm going to put one down here as well. Okay, and then we're going to use the Tahitian Tide. I need to wipe this one off. Okay, so we're gonna do the blue one up here. Hmm. He doesn't look like he, I think I might have to re-ink this, but for now, that's just gonna have to do. There we go. And we'll put one more down here. There we go. 
And then we're just going to add some leaves in the granny apple green. So I have a little two leaf there like that and uh, a little one leaf. This takes a second to focus, I can see. Okay. All right, so we're just going to throw these on wherever. Oh, they're not going to be attached. So they're just, because like I said, they're just kind of um, random. Mm, I don't know where I want to put that one. You can put these wherever you want and do whatever you want with it, right? Because it's just, uh, I don't want that there either. So maybe put this one going down here like that. And we'll put this one over here. No, I think I gotta have him down too, like that. And we'll have this one coming down like that. This one can go up here. like that and then we'll just do some ones so have him here I love the way I kind of talk to myself here while I do these I do this while I stamp too right you just want to talk to yourself I'm going to put another double one here I think there and we'll put Another one here, and one more over here. Okay, and then I've got this other little ferny guy. I have no idea what all these are called. I just call them all ferny guys. Okay, and I'm just gonna put him just to fill in the space a little bit. And maybe I'll have him coming off there a little bit. And coming down here a little bit. Okay. And now I want to wipe all the ink off my mat. <laughs> there we go. Just turn that over. Okay, so now I'm going to take my Wink of Stella because I love Wink of Stella. Just kind of pops everything. And we're just going to color the flowers. Put the Wink of Stella on the flowers just to give them a bit of shine. Just kind of perks them up. Makes them much happier. They like, to, they like to have the Wink of Stella on them. They told me, don't forget to put the Wink of Stella on me. So, of course, I have to do what they ask. And then the last one. Okay, so you can leave it like that if you'd like. I actually found these. What are these? These are the For Everything Fancy Sequins. So they come in a little box and you get three packages. These are like for shaker cards, but you can use them for whatever you want, okay? So there's a pretty green and a nice pink and um, a really pretty blue color, okay? So these are also 50% off right now. So you can get these for $10.50, which again, a steal. So what I'm gonna do though, is I found that there are some white ones in here, some little white sequins, okay? So I'm going to just take a little blob of glue. Hopefully I'm just gonna get a little blob of glue. Oh, no, way too much. Just a tiny little blob of glue here. And I don't have, oh, here, I'll just take a, let's take a piece of post-it note and pull a little bit of this glue off. Be 
because it is way too much. There we go. And I'll throw that in the garbage. All right, so I don't know if you can see. Well, I'll put that on, then maybe you can see better. So let's see. I'm just going to adhere that. So, yeah, when you put it down, you're going to... I'm using the other end of this... Um, Take your pick tool as well because otherwise it kind of sticks to your finger when you lift it up. Okay, and then we'll find another white one here. And make sure you only get one because when I did this, when I put them on, I thought, oh, I don't know why it's so like lopsided. And it's because I had two together. So if you're going to do this, you can put whatever you want here. I just kind of like these. I tried putting the blue on, but it didn't do anything. And I tried putting the pink on and it didn't do anything either. So that's why I decided I would just go with the white ones. It just adds a little bit of, I don't know, sparkle, for lack of a better word. Now I'll just press that on there so it will stay, hopefully. And I need one more. There we go. All right, so let's put the lid on this. Oh, my goodness. And we'll put them back in the box again. What did I say these were? $10.50 for all, for all, for the box of three of them. All right. So simple, simple. I'm just, oh, I put the lid on my glue. I'm just going to glue this on. Again, easy peasy. I'm making simple cards today. Well, which I think are simple cards anyways. I just want to go along the edge here. And I'm going to put a little dot in all these middles of the these so it will adhere better. And I'll just put that on there. You could pop this up if you wanted, but like I said, I'm just doing simple, simple. And there is card number one. What do you think? I need to push those down too. Easy peasy. And you just open it up. You don't even have to put an insert in because it's already white inside. Okay. So that is card number one. Card number two. Oh, and then, of course, it comes with the pretty envelope. Okay. Card number two is really, really simple. Well, kind of simple. Let me see now. So, again, this is the... Um, okay, this is... I took the... This is the... from. I got this from the Paper Pixie. For the life of me, I can't remember her name. She goes by the Paper Pixie. She's a demonst uh, Stampin' Up! demonstrator. And I can't, I just can't remember her name. But she goes by the Paper Pixie. So I'm missing a flower, of course. Oh, here it is. Oh, I've already, I had to fussy cut the flowers. So I thought I would do these ahead of time. So... All right, so I've got two, I've got a piece of the, uh, this is the 2022-2024 in color six by six paper, okay? So you get a variety here. So these are the five in colors again. The in colors is still current, but the paper is not, or won't be as of the end of the month. So the paper is on the uh, last chance, it also is 60% off. So for 48, um, oh, pardon me, 40 uh, pieces of six by six paper, it's on for $6.60. Okay, again, great, great deal, great deal. Okay. And then I've just taken a piece of the um, 
Starry Sky. Okay, all right, so the designer series paper and the basic white are both cut at three and five eighths by four and seven eighths inches. Okay, so I have, this is my template because I kept kind of screwing it up when I was doing this yesterday. So I thought, you know what, I'm just gonna make the template to make sure that I don't screw it up again. <laughs> okay, so it's gonna kind of be cut like this. So what you wanna do, I need a pencil, there we go. We're gonna mark this at one inch. That's my pen, I don't want that. Okay, so we're gonna mark this at one inch, which is here. And it doesn't show up very well on the uh, dark color, but anyways, okay. So then you're gonna take your trimmer and I think you'll be okay to be able to see this. So I'm thinking this is the way I wanna go. And yes, wait, just a minute. Sorry, I told you this is why I have the template. So I need one inch on this side that I've done and I need one inch on the other side. One, two, three, four. Okay, all right. So one inch on one side and one inch on the other side. And we're gonna, we're gonna put the marks on the long side, okay? Not the short side, on the long side. And then you're gonna line it up. Let me just make sure that's right. Yes. <laughs> okay, so you're gonna lie. I've got a pencil mark here. And I can try and bring this down. Let's see if that will make any difference. Okay, so we've got a pencil mark here and a pencil mark here. So we're just gonna line them up because we wanna cut where the two pencil marks are. Okay, so this one is in the track and this one is in the track. And then we're just gonna cut. And then fingers crossed that I did this right, people. <laughs> does it look like my template? Yes, it does. Okay, so now you've got two of these. So look at that. So you can do two cards, all right? But we're only gonna do one, obviously. And this is my white piece of paper. So I'm just going to to glue that on like that. Do you have any questions about that cutting or are you okay with that? I want it to be fairly um, ah! of course it went the wrong side down on my pants. Glue side down. Does, don't they know the rule that's supposed to be glue side up all the time? Okay. All right, so we're just gonna glue this on here at the bottom. And I'm gonna move that over a little bit. There we go, over a little bit more. Okay. And then I'm gonna take my Starry Sky ink, wherever that may be, there it is. I don't know, my piece of white is sturdy for sport. I must have more ink on me. Um, and we're gonna take the You Are Simply Fabulous. And I just inked up my uh, flower by mistake because it was, it was in the way. <laughs> All right, now we're just gonna line that up on the side here. Just like that. Yay! Okay. And then, okay, I don't know if you can see, I kind of mucked up the, uh, I stamped on that by mistake because that's what I do. I'm just pretty silly. So instead of having two different flowers, 
we're gonna have two flowers the same. And these are just popped up with dimensionals. So let's put one dimensional on and I'm gonna cover that spot. And one dimensional on this one. And we're just gonna put it down here. I think I'll put it over here. And then I've just got some basic rhinestones. And I'm just going to put, well, actually, you know what? I think I will put my Winko Stella on these flowers first. Because, again, I like the Winko Stella. And it just adds a little something. And again, I know you guys can't see it on camera no matter how hard I try it never seems to show up but you guys all know what it looks like so that's all that matters and then I'm going to take one of these big um, rhinestones and just put it in the middle maybe keep it over there There we go. And one more on this one. Okay. And then we're just gonna adhere this on to the base. Yeah, looks a little crooked, but could be the way I cut it. Anyways, and that's the card. It doesn't get much simpler than this, eh, guys? Okay, one more quick one. This one's a little uh, more involved, but I will be quick, hopefully. All right, so I've got my white piece. I've got a basic card. Eight and a half by five and a half scored at four and a quarter. I've got a piece of whisper white that's three and a quarter by four and a half. And then I've got a piece of granny apple green that is three and three eighths by four and five eighths. Okay, so it's just an eighth of an inch bigger than three and a quarter by four and a half. All right, so I'm just going to take my bone folder, give this a nice crease. And, okay, so I just basically want this piece. And I just kind of want to draw a line here as to where I think the middle is. That looks good. Okay, so I'm going to start with my Granny Apple Green. And what I'm going to do, just so you know, so you don't think I'm crazy here, um, I'm going to adhere this along there. So I'm going to have some flowers going up and some flowers coming down. So we're going to start with the granny apple green. And I think I'm just going to put that there. And then I'm going to use some polished pink and these are little um, flowers all three go together and then you just kind of I can't really see here um, position them and again they're kind of abstracty right so they're not going to be perfect see just like that and we'll put some of the ferny stuff up like that. And what else do I want to do? I think I'll do another one of these flowers. And I think. 
think I'll ink it up this time in the Tahitian Tide. So you just kind of have to maneuver this a little bit. It kind of goes like that, I think. There we go. And where's that other little flower? Oh, that's not it. Here's another little flower. So I'm just gonna add a couple of these here and there. And I'll wipe that off and do some with the pink. And maybe one more over here. Okay. And see, sometimes it's just fun to, you know, just kind of play with all this stuff. Again, I want to wipe my mat off. And then I think I'll do a big flower over here um, in the pink. Let's do one over here like that. And maybe just a smidge more here. There. Okay. And then I'm going to turn upside down and kind of do the same thing again. And again, it's probably not going to be the, oh, it's not going to be the same. Let's see if I can do that. Okay, not perfect, but you know, you guys just get the idea of what I'm doing. And that's really all I want you to do. And do this in the blue here. Wipe that one off before I forget. We'll do another stem over here. And then we'll do the pink. And kind of like that. And we'll do one more ferny one. that and a couple of the little flowers here and there uh, put one there oh I dipped that in the green <laughs> oh well so we'll have a green flower too there we go it does now it's just kind of a mud color flower but that's okay And we'll do one more down there. Okay. Let me close all this up. Move this out of the way. Actually, I think I'll just... No, I'm just going to leave that. All right. So, now I've got this little piece of white. And I'm just going to stamp... Let's celebrate in the polished pink. Yeah, that's good. So let's celebrate. And I'm going to glue that onto there. Oh, so this piece was half an inch. Or was it? No, this piece was, yeah, half an, no, three quarters of an inch. This piece was three quarters of an inch, and this piece was just over half an inch. So I just wanted a small border. And again, I'm not popping anything up. So this card was also done with 
basically four colors, okay? And then we're just going to stick that on there. Again, we're just going to glue it on. Like that. I don't really think that's in the middle, but I don't think it matters. There we go. And then we're going to glue this onto the granny apple piece. I'm glad they didn't get rid of Granny Apple. It's another one of my favorites. And they're bringing back the Lemon Lime Twist. Another one of my favorite bright greens. I love brights. <laughs> oh, I forgot an important part here. Okay, so we're going to take the flower and the polished pink ink. And we're just going to kind of ink around the outside here. Oh, I'm not doing very well today, am I? Oh, that turned out not bad. So we're just kind of going to go around a little bit on and off just to kind of cover the edge. And I'm all over the place here on the mat, off the mat. Well, and I've made a mess there, but I'm not going to do anything about it. So it's just going to have to stay the way it is. And I'm just hurrying, so I think that's the other reason it's not totally covering because I'm hurrying too much. I might just go back and see if I'm brilliant enough to get that on there which I don't think I am, because I can't really see. I find once these inks get so much red on them, I can't see. Let's try that. Yeah, good enough. All right, and we'll just do this one over here again, maybe. Good enough. Okay. And then we're just going to glue this one on. Hey, Brenda, how are you? Thanks for joining me today. Let me wipe my mat off here. There we go. See, now this card just says happy to me. It's crooked. <laughs> it's crooked. All right, there we go. That's a little better. Just says happy, happy, happy to me. So anyway, so there's my cards for today. We did this one. And we did the easy one. And we did this one. Anyway, so again... That was done, all done with the Simply Fabulous. I believe the stamp set's only $25, so a good deal. It'll be gone the end of the month if it lasts that long. The stamp sets are, um, they very rarely discount them, if ever, and once they're gone, they're gone. So if you're interested in this one, make sure you get it soon because um, it could be gone soon. And you can also um, put the Wink of Stella on these flowers, too. I'm not going to bother right now because I want to go. And I'm sure you guys have been on here long enough. But anyway, so you can put the Wink of Stella on the flowers. And that's all I got for you today. So I hope you enjoyed um, my cards. And try and stay dry. It's... Um, the weather's pretty pretty um, iffy here. Um, we've had thunderstorms and uh, everything already go through. So try and stay dry. And um, we'll see you back here next Wednesday. If you have any questions in the meantime, feel free to reach out. Um, if you want a new catalog or you want to join, sign up for my newsletter. Uh, again, it's linktr.ee slash Judy's Paper Crafts. Okay? All right, have a great week, and uh, we'll see you back here next Wednesday, hopefully. All right, take care, guys. Bye-bye.